Carnivore Queen. I wanted to do a video today on uh, my addiction to sugarless gum. So I recently had a really bad flare of my keratosis pilaris, or it's also called chicken bump skin. Um, and I've also had a flare of my tumid lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. Um, it's a form of lupus that only affects the skin. Um, so I've got to get this off my chest. I have been chewing sugar-free gum for the past few weeks because I kept thinking, what did I do? Why am I having these breakouts again? Where, what in the world? Um, so let me back up a little bit. My keratosis pilaris and my tumid lupus completely went away when I was completely carnivore, no sugar real, fake, doesn't matter, no sugar in my mouth, nothing sweet. Um, I started chewing gum again, which was my big, uh, that, okay, that was my last holdout is what I would, is, that's what I would call it, my last, absolute last holdout. Um, I was chewing up to about 10 pieces of gum a day. Uh, yeah, so I started doing that a few weeks ago, and then boom, my keratosis pilaris is back with a vengeance. It's horrible. It's all over my, my legs, um, my thighs. Um, I've got this crazy, you can't see it, but this bloody rashy scab thing in my scalp right now. Um, I had my blisters back in my joints. Um... Yeah, so I kept thinking, what in the world did I do? I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the gum. So I knew it was bad for me. I knew it had crap ingredients in it. And it was, I mean, it's you're chewing garbage. Yes, I know that. God, it tasted so good. And it was like, oh, you know, I gotta have it. And I wasn't even buying it. I was finding it at other people's places. Like I would be like, I'm gonna go to my mom's. And oh, um, she's got gum. I know she's got gum in her, you know, in the kitchen and or in her purse. Or I'd go to my mother-in-law's and she had gum too. You know, I'd grab some of that. So it was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm just sneaking around getting this gum. But I mean, the way I was doing it, it was almost like, good grief! Like you are addicted to gum, like the way an addict would be. It's like I'm gonna find it anywhere I can. And I would just be so upset if I didn't have any, or if we chewed our last piece, or, you know, or I don't know. If I ran out of it and I had some for some reason, I would be like, well, when can we get some more? You know, when can we go to the grocery store and get more gum? And my husband would say, you can't have gum. That's got, you know, fake sugar in it. That's so bad for you. That's chemicals. And I'd be like, oh, I know. Oh, but I want it. I'm a big gum, I was a big gum chewer, um, cause I always have to have something, if I'm not chewing on gum, I'm, you know, doing the fingers or, um, kind of picking at things. I'm very, uh, I'm a very anxious person in general. So I feel like it actually helps me concentrate when I have like a minty flavor, like a, of gum in my mouth. I, I like it. It, it helps me kind of focus on other things which is weird. But anyway, I wanted to throw this video out there to anybody out there that's got some kind of crazy um, flare going on or, you know, their autoimmune stuff's back and they just, they're like, what in the world? What am I doing wrong? It could be the fake sugar and it could be um, that your body just can't deal with it. I did not know keratosis pilaris could be triggered by gum. I mean, what? For me, I'm like, that's, that just doesn't make sense. But maybe it does. It's a toxic thing I'm putting in my body. So it's going to come out in some weird way. Um, which just happens to be little bumps, real little red bumps, which I'm like, those need to go away ASAP. And then update. I So it's been about a week since I stopped chewing gum. And my legs are like completely clear or almost completely clear now. Like it's all dried up and the scab on my head is dry 
and the, um, I don't know if you can see, the blisters are scabbed now. So it's healing. It only took, you know, getting rid of the last holdout, which was my gum. But anyway, it's an addictive thing. It's like Diet Coke. I It took so long for me to give up Diet Coke. I know... I, I know the grip that that stuff has on you. Um, my dad is addicted to Diet Dr. Pepper to the point of like, he has cases in the house and they will go out in, like, in the middle of a snowstorm to buy another case because he might run out of that, you know? And um, I'm like, man, y'all gotta get off that stuff. You got to, you know, you gotta like titrate down I mean, it is an addictive substance. You know, we think of uh, an addiction as like, oh, that's, you know, that's other people. They have an addiction to drugs. But we can be addicted to food. We can be addicted, addicted to carbs and sugars. And we can be addicted to Diet Coke. And we can be addicted to sugar-free gum. I'll tell you another thing I used to be addicted to that I finally broke um, and that was sugar-free creamer in my coffee. Holy cow. I could probably drink a bottle of that crap, like, in a week. And it's, ooh. I just think, oh, God, no wonder you aren't losing weight. Like, you're just holding on to inflammation and drinking this crap. <sighs> let it go. Yeah, I just have to let it go. And you should too. Just forgive yourself and move on. Be like, you know what? I'm going to do better tomorrow. That's all you got to do. And if you're in the throes of an addiction right now, my suggestion is don't quit cold turkey. Just titrate it down. Just, you know, if you're used to having 10 pieces of gum a day, next day let's try and do eight or something like that. And, you know, or if you're used to having six Diet Cokes a day. Next day, try and only do five. Next day after that, maybe do four. Um, Cause it's, I mean, it is so addictive. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and let me know in the comments if there's anything you're addicted to and uh, hopefully we can help each other out and figuring this stuff out. Everybody uh, take care and I will see you in the next video.